In this tutorial, we'll look at how we can find data for our first City Engine project. First, let's open up City Engine and create a new project. I go File, New, and click on City Engine Project, and then click Next. Here, we give the project a name. I'm going to call it Redlands, and click Finish. Now, if we go to the Navigator and expand the project, we can see all the folders we're familiar with. To create a new scene, I right click in the Scenes folder and click Create New Scene and then give the scene a name. Here I'm going to call it Redlands. And now we choose the coordinate system. You can either browse for the coordinate system you're looking for or if you know the well-known ID number, you can type it in the search expression. So I'm just going to type in 2229 here and it takes me directly to the coordinate system I need. Then I click Finish. If you're looking for a list of well-known ID numbers that correspond to the coordinate system you're looking for, you can go to the ArcGIS Resource Center here and find the values that you're looking for. Now that we've created our new City Engine project, let's get started finding data. I'll take you through a couple of different portals to access open source GIS data. The availability depends on the country that you're in, and for this tutorial we're going to walk you through a couple of examples here in the United States. In the United States we have the USGS, which is the United States Geological Survey, and it's a great place to search for data for your project. We can get data sets like elevation and imagery, We'll be working in Redlands, California for this project, and I'm just going to type in Redlands here and click search. A list of options come up. I'm going to choose the first one and click on zoom to. If I click on download data, you can see I have a range of boundaries to choose to limit the extent of the data I want to download. I'm going to choose the index 24K, and if I zoom out, you can see the actual extent of the imagery and elevation data that I'll be downloading. So on the left here I'll go over to download and I get this dialog box which gives me a list of data that's available. If I click on elevation and choose next you can see I have a lot of different options for the type of data and format that I want to download. And if I click on the data that I'm interested in I can see the extent that it covers here shaded in purple. If we zoom in here, you can see that we have 12 different products for elevation that are available. I recommend downloading the IMG format because City Engine reads IMG directly and we can just drag and drop that into our scene. You might notice that we have two options for IMG here. We have a one third arc second and a one arc second option. Some USGS DEM data is stored in a format that utilizes 3, 5 or 30 arc seconds to register cell values. To put it simply, an arc second equals about 100 feet or 30 meters. So a third of an arc second is about 10 meters resolution. Because this is a higher resolution, I'm going to go ahead and choose the one third arc second option. And you can see the elevation data set has been added to my cart. So now I'm just going to add more data. I'm going to choose ortho imagery here. And I'm going to choose a second option, the 0.3 meter resolution ortho imagery. And as with the other data set, you can see if I click on it, I can see the extent of the ortho imagery in the viewer. So now I have two data sets added to the cart. I can check out. And here you just enter your email address and the data will be emailed to you with download links. So we're going to place the order here and press OK. Once you receive the email, it will look something like this. And you just click here to download and it will launch the downloader automatically. While we're waiting for these data sets to download, Let's go ahead and look at another site where we can download some open source data. This is OpenStreetMap. OpenStreetMap data covers the entire globe. 
The data is crowdsourced or contributed by governments, so the amount of data available in a particular area depends on the participation from governments and volunteers. So for example, if we go here to London, you can see we have a fairly complete building footprint data set. And for the United States, it's also fairly complete. Depending on the city, you'll have different levels of data availability. So let's zoom into Redlands here and see what we can get. So if I zoom out a little bit, we'll be able to see the full extent of the area and what kind of data is available. So already you can see we have street data and a number of buildings downtown. So the next thing we do is export the data. So to export the data, you choose the extent and download it directly into the downloads folder as an OSM file. So let's just set the extent of the area we're interested in and click on export. OSM is a data format of OpenStreetMap and City Engine actually supports that. So we can import OSM files directly into our City Engine project. Apart from OpenStreetMap and USGS, another great place to find detailed data is the city's GIS portal. For example, if I were working here in LA County and wanted to create a city engine project, I could go to the LA County GIS portal. And you can see here they have a lot of the county's GIS data open to the public. So I can search for building footprints and you can see the county offers all of the building footprints with height information as well. Another example is New York City. New York City is at the forefront of making their data open to the public. The idea is to drive innovation and to drive application building within the city itself. You can browse a catalogue or search for specific data sets. I'm going to search for trees here. Then I click on the search icon and I get a list of available data sets. If I click on the little geodatabase icon over here, we can see a more detailed view of what's actually included in the data set. Another great resource for open data is ArcGIS.com. If we go to www.ArcGIS.com and do a search for open data focusing on groups, a whole list of available groups comes up. And you can see different counties and cities have made their data available for the public to browse. This is another great source of data for your City Engine project. To find out more about the initiative, go to opendata.arcgis.com. So now you have an idea about where to source data for your project. In the next tutorial, we'll look at how to prepare the data to import into City Engine.